right, out of the latest on campaign 2018 and a big endorsement for Democratic gubernatorial nominee Andrew Gillum. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live in Miami with the story. Gary? Well, Andrew Gillum got rock star treatment today from hundreds of LGB. TQ, forgive me, voters and their supporters, as every organization representing those voters gave them his in their endorsement for governor. Andrew Gillum waded through a crowd of adoring LGBTQ voters and their supporters as he received the endorsements of every major LGBTQ organization Monday in Miami. Gillum revealed he has personal experience with a family member discriminated against for sexual preference. My brother, who I was closest to growing up, uh, came out to our family and had to literally move across the country before he could feel accepted again. Gillum noted before same-sex marriage was legalized, he was supporting work benefits for same-sex employees. Gillum remarked that Florida has no law prohibiting discrimination based on sexual preference. We still don't have the protections that we deserve for all Floridians. It is still legally allowable in the state of Florida to fire someone because of who they love. Earlier, Gillum told CBS Force Jim DeFeedy that his opponent, Ron DeSantis, is appealing to fear and repeatedly calling Gillum a socialist. Let me be clear. First of all, I'm a Democrat. Uh, I don't make apologies for that. Gillum has proposed a billion-dollar corporate tax hike for better teacher pay, something DeSantis has said Florida can't afford. Uh, I don't think it is uh, radical to say that teachers ought to be paid what they're worth. And the state of Florida teachers earn the 45th lowest average salary of all 50 states. And Gillum says the state can provide Medicaid for all who need it if it would only accept billions in federal funds the GOP leadership has rejected. Gillum appears to be resonating. An average of six recent polls show him with a 3.5 percent lead over DeSantis. <laughs> Gillum's message of inclusiveness and compassion making noise, but with six weeks still to go before Election Day. Now, uh, Gillum and his uh, supporters, the speakers today said uh, polls do not get people elected, voters do, and they urged everyone to get involved in the get out the vote turnout effort uh, between now and Election Day, 43 days from now.